talking with Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I'm, I'm going to talk to you. You've been over at the actual at the at the DNC at the United Center this week. It, watching it on TV, it, it felt like there was there was um, joy, uh, there was fun, uh, there was little John. Isn't it? <laughs> it feels so weird for politics to feel fun again. Mm -hmm. For the last ten years, mm -hmm. I mean, it certainly felt important. But more like bailing a boat than sailing a boat. Mm -hmm. what, what? Why do you think that is? I think that this is a rediscovery of what hope feels like in a much deeper way. Mm -hmm. And when, and kind of to your point in bailing a boat versus sailing a boat, when you're so consumed with how do we keep this thing up, it's stressful. It's important, but. Now we can kind of look up and say, where do we want to take this thing? And you know, to me, the long term of where we want to take this is like, and that excitement is people's joy and their dreams and this idea of being able to fight for guaranteed health care, for a living wage, for union jobs, that it brings us to a place of possibility and, and play. And I think there's an element of play to that once you're thinking about what we can do for the future. Well, you got a lot, a lot of praise for your, your speech over at the convention this week. Um, I like how you drove it. You kept on going there just as a performer. Um, what, a, what was it like to be up there the packed United Center during prime time? I mean, it was, it was completely surreal. How, how can one even imagine speaking to a stadium where the Chicago Bulls play. I mean, <laughs> truly, truly, it's, uh, it's usually that many people don't gather to hear a person talk. They use, hear, they go gather to, you know, watch people play ball, but not, <laughs> not, not. But get they to were just talking, but I gotta say, Kamala Harris did dunk on Donald Trump yes, a few she times did. tonight. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So what would you want? What do you want? What do you hope people, you gave a great speech, what do you hope the one thing they take from what you had to say this week was? I think uh, one of the things that's most important is that the Democratic Party is and must return to our roots as a working class party that centers everyday people and our most basic material needs and also one that champions our economic rights while also being a multiracial democracy where people of all creeds, faiths, genders, identities um, can, can thrive. Now, uh, the, the, sort of the, many of the, some of the themes, the message over the RNC uh, about a month ago were uh, pro-Russia, anti-NATO, uh, really less about national security, at least projecting power of the United States overseas. This week, the Dems painted themselves as party of freedom, faith, patriotism, camo, and unity. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> We're taking our country back. Okay. <laughs> is what we're doing. That's what we're the, doing. The Democratic Party, Democratic Party has, has got a, a few important firsts. First black president, first female vice president, first female uh, presidential nominee, first female speaker of the House, first person of color to lead the House Dems. Why do you think those firsts are established by the Democrats when either party has an opportunity to do that? Well, I think that uh, you, it really comes down to what we fight for and living our values, which is gender equality, racial diversity, civil rights, housing equality, and also, and, and it's, it's not just the, the civil and gender and, uh, and, and orientation and identity rights that we protect, it's also the economic abilities for us to actually pursue these opportunities in life. And, you know, six years ago, the day after it happened, I, I was here speaking with you, uh, and I was a waitress the day before, and I had become a, congress or an, a congresswoman elect almost overnight, and I feel like, first of all, that can only happen in America, but also it can happen with Democrats, too in terms of what we champion. Well, we'll, we'll take another break here. We'll be right back with more Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez.